Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we have in our hands one from uh, D. Augustini, the magazine type ones, of course. These are a the bit of a budget build. It is in 172nd scale diecast. It is a Mischer Schmidt 262, as you can plainly see here. And this is uh, from JG7 and Nowotny, and this is Green 4. And uh, this was flown by Theodore Weissenberger in 1945. And uh, JG-7, of course, was the first uh, operational jet fighter unit in the world and uh, was created in sort of late 1944 and would uh, fly until war's end, of course. And as I said, this aircraft is the one flown by Theodore Weissenberger, who was actually uh, first group commander of JG-7 and in January 1945 would take command of JG-7 until war's end, uh, ending the war and ace. And a Knight's Cross recipient, of course, with Oak Leaves, he would achieve 208 aerial victories over 375 combat missions. And uh, he was ace in a day 13 times, which is which that means he shot down five aircraft in one day. And uh, that is that is an amazing feat in itself. And uh, he would shoot down eight aircraft in this Amish uh, 262. He would survive the war uh, only to be killed in a car racing accident at Nürburgring in 1950, age 35, in his BMW 328. Now, of course, these are, uh, you know, I got this for $25. And as I said, it is a very budgety one. So what we're going to do is stop talking and uh, get this open and... Uh, it is, you know, with that cardboard backing, of course. So get your favourite blade, say, like a World War II German bayonet. And we'll get this open and uh, get our grubby little hands on this little Mischer Schmidt 262 so we can see what it's like. All right, with this Mischer Schmidt 262's backing cut off, we can get this blister pack lid off and have a little look at this in its packet. It does have some uh, landing gear accessories, of course, and some, uh, I think, probably choice whether to use the... Uh, tanks there that I think they'll be mounted under the front of the aircraft or the WG-21 rockets of course for use against those bomber formations and uh, we will grab this aircraft out and uh, it does have the base there a little baggy with the accessories as you can see there we'll try and get that to let go and uh, it's got that little base there so we'll move this out of the way and concentrate on Theodore's Mr. Schmidt 262 it is a very unusual colour. It's got that uh, red, brown and green camouflage scheme on it, which I find very strange. The panel lines themselves are the usual sort of um, not overly deep. They look to be accentuated with a little bit of black in there. The build quality itself is not too bad, I suppose. In regards, you know, like for $25 this cost me. Um, I did get this pretty pretty cheap. Um, sometimes people do ask um, some ridiculous prices for these uh, De Augustini 172nd scale aircraft, but uh, you should be able to find these uh, relatively cheap, and uh, the the actual build quality isn't too bad. But uh, don't expect like you know Dragon Corgi or or Hobby Master sort of kind of uh, quality. Otherwise, you'll be paying uh, you know considerably more, of course. And the paint paint itself looks very nice. It is, of course, missing that um, tail marking there, which, of course, if you want to get a little decal, you can uh, rectify that yourself. We'll turn this around and have a little look down this side. It is the same deal down this side. It's got the unit marking there. There's green four and the staffel badge, of course. The um, the gun ports are sort of sort of painted sort of on. They're not real deep or anything like that. But uh, look, overall it's tidy. It's um, If you don't have a Mr. Smith 262 in your collection and you haven't got much money, this is you know, sort of one to grab. The underneath is quite a, a sort of a darkish grey. Once again, those lines look to be sort of uh, semi sort of engraved, semi sort of painted on. Obviously that's where we'll be mounting the ordnance and of course the landing gear options that will be uh, put on. But overall, it's not too bad. But uh, yeah, all right, well, we've got to turn over. So what we'll do is we'll uh, get this Mr. Schmidt 262 out and come right back. All right, here we've got it uh, set up for gear down. I thought I'd chuck the uh, rockets on the front, the WG-21s. And uh, that nose wheel drops straight in. It is plastic and quite flimsy. And there is a gear bay door that drops straight in. But... It is not long enough and you don't have that front gear bay door piece that normally is on that front landing gear. Um, so that is missing. Uh, the you know, main landing gear, you put two little doors there and then drop your sort of landing gears in there. 
Um, this one is a little bit, that's as straight as I can get it. It is a little bit skew if. Um, it's not 100%. And there is a little aerial that you uh, put, put in there and another little uh, aerial there that uh, you whack in. And that is uh, gear down. Of course, there's no detail in the wheel wells or anything like that. Um, there's no uh, real detail on the tyres themselves. There's a little bit on the front one, but that, that is so skinny. And uh, this is how she sort of uh, sets up for gear down. And uh, look, it's a budget one, so um, it's not going to be perfect. Definitely not going to be perfect. But uh, if you're a, uh, you know, you know, strapped for cash and you want a Mr. Schmidt 262, um, I suppose grab one of these. We'll put it on the deck and see how she sits. And I mean, it does sit nicely, and uh, I think it does come up quite nice. So uh, personally, it's not too bad. Uh, it could be a lot worse. I've seen a little bit worse, and uh, it, it's a very um, decent sort of basic budget uh, rendition of a Mitsubishi 262. If you want um, something better build quality, you've got to spend more of that. Uh, if you don't have a lot of this, um, then this one is 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 fine. Uh, it will pass. Um, I can say that it, it, it's not it's not garbage. And of course, this is the way I display it being geared down. But uh, we will chuck it in gear up for you, fly boys, and I'll show you that now. Alrighty, here we have Theodore's Mission Smith Two Six Two set up for in flight. Of course, uh, very straightforward. Uh, you put the bay door there. It doesn't quite go all the way home. I did push quite hard. Uh, it doesn't quite. It is quite hard to push that all the way home. And then, of course, the two little gear bay doors right there that you just chuck straight in. And that is that. I did swap out the rockets, of course, for these tanks. So just so you could see the different kind of uh, ordnance on this aircraft. And it does, you know, does present well in flight, of course. It is, uh, you know, pretty reasonable for a, you know, your budget sort of one. Uh, this didn't come with any instructions either, so hopefully you've done everything right. There, there is not a great deal you got to do on these anyway, so you, you, I don't think you can muck it up too much. <laughs> not, not even me. But look, to be honest, if you're real fussy, uh, you'll probably, you know, may want to stay away from this one. But if you're, uh, you know, budget conscious and you're happy enough to get one of these, uh, this is definitely one to grab. And of course, to put it on the stand, we just whack it in the hole like that. And then uh, we'll just put it on the deck. And that is your Mischa Schmidt 262 on the stand, ready to display on your shelf, of course. And uh, sausage finger test, you know, it's a Mischa Schmidt 262. We, we've done a couple. We know what they look like and how big they are in one seventy second scale, of course. And, of course, hey, if you like this one, give us one of those if you can find that little button down below. And if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, of course, feel free to do that. And, of course, now this is one seventy second scale by D. Augustini, and it is the Amisha Smith 262 from JG7 Nowotny, as flown by Theodore Weissenberger. And I reckon it is not a bad little unit, of course. And uh, if, uh, you know, if you're after a cheap budget Mr. Smith 262 for your collection, this is, you know, one, one to grab for sure. All right, guys, thank you once again for spending your valuable time, of course, checking out another one of our videos. I hope you enjoyed the content today. And once again, thank you so much for spending your valuable time on the channel. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.